Hi everybody, it's AdorkableList77 and today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial involving Revlon's Kiss Me Coral lip gloss. Now some of you might be thinking, why are you using two primers? Well, it's because this one, Mac Max Paint Pot, it creases on me and I have really oily lids, so this doesn't really last on me. So I go with my favorite eye primer first, and that's also because it, it, it's really good for oily lids. So I don't get any creasing, I don't get any fading, you know, it's just the bee's knees. This is the bee's knees for me. And this one, um, I like the color for a highlight, so yeah. Royal Care Cosmetics, it's super big and fluffy, and I'm going to be using my Jasmine palette from Sephora, and I'm going to be using the color Cosmic, I'm just going to tap off the excess. Now if you don't have the Jasmine palette, don't worry, um, Maybelline has this um, trio from their eye studio. It's called Bronze Chic and you could use that as an alternative to Cosmic if you don't have that or any other like golden bronzy color. Whatever you have. I'm going to start by applying this to my lid and I'm going to go into the crease a bit but not too high up and I'm just going to wash this color all over my lid. Go back and forth a little bit. With NYX's eyeliner in dark brown and I'm just gonna do my lower waterline and get really close into my upper lash line. Like I said, this is a really simple eye look. I just need to move some stuff to get my mirror closer. And I'm not tugging on my lower li lid. I'm gonna go in really close, do little small strokes, as close to the lash line as possible. I'm gonna get really close to my mirror. Because I'm nearsighted. Really in there. Taking my Sonia Kashak pencil blending brush, looks like this. I'm just going to go over and kind of go over this a little bit. My Revlon eyelash curler. And I'm just gonna start curling the upper lashes. This is really good if your lashes point down like mine. And it was only five dollars. My Revlon eyelash curler. And I'm just gonna start curling the upper lashes. This is really good if your lashes point down like mine. And it was only $5. I'll be taking um, Benefit They're Real mascara for my top lash line. 
And I'm going to get really close in there. And wiggle. If I can. On one side I could because I'm getting really up close and personal with my mirror. But yes, I definitely need a better layout. Wet n Wild's Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara for my lower lash line. And I'm just going to look down. And... Start going at it. And my Real Care Cosmetics Flat Angled Blush Brush or Contour Brush, whatever you want to call it. And NYX's Matte Bronzer in Medium. And I'm just going to start contouring my face. Just going to apply some more down here even though I already done it. Just so I can show you guys. Blend up and down. And you can build this blush to your liking. It's very sheer, so a little goes a long way. And if you like to build it up a little bit like I do, that's great too. I really like this blush with my red hair. Blush. And I will be using the bronzer Golden Sands. as the highlight color for my cheekbones and I'm going to go a finger or two whiffs away from my eye and just start applying it to the tops of my cheeks and blending up in circular motions. Go in with um, the lip gloss now. Now I do have two toned lips so the middle of my lips are slightly li uh, lighter than the outside of my lips so I'm just gonna apply the lip gloss now if you want the same effect as me I'm sorry if you don't have two-tone lips <laughs> oh shnikey I know what I forgot I forgot to put some of the Golden Sands bronzer on my Cupid's bow. I just remembered. So if you're watching this, hopefully you didn't make the same mistake as I did and you've already applied your <laughs> highlight to your Cupid's bow. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I will be doing my hair. Um, I'm not going to show you guys what exactly I'm going to be doing to my hair just because I haven't decided yet. So thanks for watching and bye and have a great day.